Celgene uh, plans to acquire Impact Biomedicines. It's a cancer drug maker for reportedly as much as $7 billion a lot into blood technologies and the like. Board certified family medicine, Dr. Mike Varshevsky joining us on what this could mean and whether what the timing of this could mean. Doctor, good to have you. What do you think of this? Thank you so much. I think it's an interesting acquisition. In general, the entire field of medicine and healthcare has been forming to this trend of consolidation all across the board. You have large medical systems that are buying up smaller health systems. You see independent practitioners having to give up their own practices in order to join forces with these large medical groups. Whether that's you're talking about pharma, whether you're talking about insurance, whether you're talking about small scale medical care, this is just a trend that's probably going to continue into 2018. Has the the trend change, doctor, given the uncertainty of Obamacare, where it's going, how it's going to be funded, et cetera? Well, the trend is definitely in question right now, but the, what me as a doctor and what my patients worry about is who is this trend good for? Is this in benefit of the industry? Is this in benefit for doctors? Is this in benefit for patients? And in reality, what we see is a questionable increase in quality, so we don't necessarily see the increase in quality, but we certainly see the increase in cost. And that's all across the board, whether or not you're talking about um, procedures, whether you're talking about pharmaceuticals, and ultimately the patient ends up bearing that cost, the taxpayers end up bearing that cost, and that's why we need to focus on a few things, in my opinion. Those three things are transparency, making sure that all of these deals that these insurance companies and large medical facilities make behind the scenes are known to us. If you look at medical practices that are not covered by insurance, take cosmetic uh, industry, for example, their prices are very clear, and therefore the market dictates who gets the money and where the prices are set. But when there's no transparency, that doesn't occur. Next, we have to focus on competition. When there's competition in the field, again, the market forces are at play and you get better quality for lower cost. Now, that's the tricky question. How do we get competition without hampering with too many regulations? And that's the tricky part of the situation. Yeah, to put it mildly. Doctor, thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it.